Welcome to the NC Spin After Spin. Additional comments from our panelists just available on our website. I want to ask you, what do you wish you'd said on last week's show but you didn't get around to? Becky Gray, we'll start with you. We always seem to talk a little bit about Medicaid, Medicaid expansion, and a couple things that I've learned of this Medicaid expanded expansion population. 71% of those people that would be covered under the Medicaid expansion are adults, working age, childless, able-bodied adults, 71 percent. It just seems to me that we ought to be focusing on getting those people jobs and getting them back to work rather than confining them to a welfare program. The other thing about Medicaid expansion is when you talk about the federal government is going to cover the expenses of this, they will cover the medical services for the expansion of Medicaid. They will not cover the administrative cost of Medicaid. The state still will have to pay its share of those administrative costs, which is Huge. And when we have the problems with, that we have in our Medicaid system now, I just don't understand why anybody would think that Medicaid expansion is a good idea at this point. What did you wish you'd said, Chris, that you didn't get a chance to say? Well, we talked about issues coming up in the legislative session and in the Did You Know segment. I mentioned the virtual uh, charter schools. I think that'll be an interesting issue to see how that plays out in this. Uh, the State Board of Education will be deciding uh, on whether or not to approve the recommendation made by a special committee to go ahead with two virtual charter pilots. The law was written very interestingly. It said they must take the top two applicants. Well, there were only two. So they had to take both of those two, and some people on the committee were very uncomfortable and felt like they had to take two because the law said they had to take two. And one is a company that has had a lot of controversy. I think you'll hear a lot about it. I think there'll be a contentious state board meeting, uh, in first board meeting in January when they review these recommendations. Something to look forward to. John, what do you wish you'd said? Tom, we talked uh, during the broadcast show about the scrutiny of UNC centers across the, the campus system. And obviously, Public service is one of the three pillars of academic service. You're supposed to teach, research, and pu do public service in some capacity. Some professors do more than others. So there's nothing inherently wrong with centers. But truthfully, there is a reason why that poverty center at UNC Chapel Hill has helped to spark this broader in investigation of centers and not to, you know, insult Gene Nichols' you know, sense of himself, but it isn't about him. It's about John Edwards. This center was created as a political vehicle for a candidate. That is what happened. That was never appropriate for the university to be used in that fashion, no Advocacy, matter who paid yeah. the, the bill. And that is not, of course, I'm assuming that Nickel is running for nothing, which I hope he isn't running for anything. That's not the problem now. But we need to avoid that kind of misuse of the university system in the future. Brad, what do you wish you'd said? Well, I wanted to expand on my comments about Frank Perry uh, over at Crime Control. And Tom, I work with a number of sheriffs across the state and district attorneys, and uh, there is a, a just a cauldron brewing within the law enforcement community and our court system. Uh, they're very concerned about the SBI and the direction, some of the decisions, management decisions that Secretary Perry is making, his failure to listen to major sheriffs like the sheriff here in Wake County or Guilford County Sheriff, uh, even some of the newly elected sheriffs in the eastern part of the state. Um, so they are very upset and it's becoming uh, a political problem for the governor. The clerks, the district attorneys are upset about the continued underfunding of our courts. And uh, they're going to really put some pressure on the new chief justice to step up and say, what are you going to do to make sure our courts are, are, our court system in the state's funded? Well, thanks for watching the Afterspin. We'll have more video all during the week on ncspin.com.